if you want to win this jet, all you have to do is subscribe, click the notification bell, and the like button. Then check back with me from time to time and see my new videos. Once we get to a thousand, we're going to do a drawing. I had a drawing at 100 and only 30% signed up. With those odds, it could be a 1 in 300 chance. Subscribe. Check me out, guys. Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Planes. So we've been doing so much work with this plane lately, and I've been looking directly at the receiver in AR637TA. And I thought maybe some of you guys don't know that that receiver can be used as if you just bought an AR637T. You can use the full forward programming capability just as if it was a, re a receiver bought individually. Now, if you got an AR637TA in a bind and fly, the menu in forward programming will be very limited. And I'll show you that in a second. And if you update your AR637TA to the latest firmware, it will completely jailbreak the receiver where you can use it in any other airplane, just like I have in this one. Right there, 637TA. And I have another TA inside my pits, and another TA inside the edge strip. And they were all originally from bind and flies. You, know, you can't buy a TA receiver unless you're buying a replacement for a certain plane. So I want to show you both uh, both forward programming menus. You know, we'll call it jailbroke and non-jailbroke, just to show you the difference. And then you can use it, uh, you know, for other airplanes. Also, inside the forward programming menu, you have an option to set up the entire plane and then save that plane to the memory inside the receiver. So the receiver can be used in two airplanes. You know, you could set it up in this one and then you could take it out and put it in another plane and set it up in that one. And then as you swapped it back and forth, you would just take the file that you have saved in the backup and move it up front. You don't have, you know, you don't have to do anything except just move the backup file to the front. And if you have a bind and fly that has the 637TA in it and you want to use that receiver in something else and there's a good chance you want to put it back into the plane it came out of, then you just save the file from the bind and fly to backup and then that opens a whole new receiver. It's like two receivers in one put it that way. But right now I'm going to show you both uh, both ways, you know, jailbroke and non-jailbroke. And uh, and then hopefully somebody uh, somebody need to know that info. Put it that way. So, all right guys, hey, show you these couple little videos and that's all I got for you. Until next time, you'll see me here. Hey, subscribe if you don't mind. And then uh, ring this bell so you don't miss my next video. Okay guys, hey, thank you. Yep, there it is right there. And I hear my phone. If you have a AR637TA that has not been updated so you can use the full potential on the forward programming, your menu will look like this in the forward programming. You will be able to adjust the gains and the priority and then you'll have a couple other options uh, activating the safe select changing your fail safe or you can bind directly from the forward programming uh, you know adjust the frame rate you can do some other stuff but if you want to use the forward programming to you know customizing your own plane to set up for a total different airplane then you'll need to update it like I just talked about and your forward programming menu will then look like this. Now the forward programming menu with the AR637TA that has been updated where you can use the forward programming to its full potential 
the menu looks like this. There are a lot more choices and now you can use it to set up in any plane you want. Just a whole lot more options and now it can be used in a different airplane. Also, there is enough memory inside of the receiver itself to have two airplanes in it at one time. You can install this receiver into a plane and set it up exactly how you want it and then save it to the backup and that parks that plane in the memory bank. And then you have a whole second set of forward programming for another plane. So you could swap the receiver back from plane to plane. 